Hi, my name's Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. I'm doing car projects at the moment, so I thought I would treat myself to a new gadget because I've got a bunch of nuts to undo. And uh, I saw this because it was on Amazon for the delivered price of $49.99, and it's not hugely powerful although it should be adequate. So let's take this out. I did have a uh, 12 volt one of these and it was a pretty lame affair compared to sort of the air version, but it was not bad. So I thought a mains one would be cool. My brother-in-law has one of the sort of cordless Makita type affairs and those are really good. Um, so I hoping if this could be some way sort of halfway between the usefulness of the 12 volt one and the cordless Makita one then it's definitely gonna have some utility. Interestingly enough, it does come with some sockets, but they're not impact grade, which is peculiar. Well, I'm saying that. They're not black, that's all, but they are chrome, but they definitely do look kind of impact grade because they're much thicker. Let me see how long those last, it'd be interesting. What sizes do you get? You get your 17, 19, is that 21, and what, 24 perhaps? No, 23. So it's pretty heavy really. It's a bit like a uh, kind of heavy drill. And uh, yeah, it's just, there's not really much to say about it. It's got a forward and back on it. I kind of expected it to have the dual sort of lever where you do it one way it goes up and one way it goes down, but that's fine. Well, I say one way up and down, in and out, of course. That's peculiar. Look, it actually has a European plug in a UK housing adapter which is a fused housing adapter, but that, that's kind of cool, actually. Nice. Don't know how long it will last, so be careful when you're yanking on that cord. So we'll just try it one way, turn it on. Oh, it's got a speed controller. Look. Well, that certainly seems like it's got some bloody juice behind it. I can feel the whole thing. There's a point where it talks and you can see it kick in my hand. So watch this, I'll do it gently. There we go. Just got a few stages there. Should we do a uh, AV type affair, have a quick look inside? I think we haven't done a, a tear down of a tool for a, ever, really. And I've noticed I've said affair at least three times this video now. I must stop saying affair. For various reasons, but mainly because it's a word I never bloody use. So I don't know where that's come from. So I'm having lots of fun at the moment undoing uh, undoing bits on of cars and also trying to do some bodywork at the same time. And bodywork sucks. I mean, I don't I don't mind metal work. I like metal work, welding those things. But primer, painting, resins, endless sanding, endless smoothing. Endless high build, endless sanding again, endless, yeah, it's just, uh. I'm one of those people who normally just finishes the uh, paint repair job enough that it's kind of acceptable. So there you have the, I guess that's the kind of anvil there, so that's connected to your half inch drive, and you could take that out, but it's just greasy, you can see what it is. It's basically like an anvil, and there's a big flat bearing it's not a roller bearing or anything it's just I think a greased bearing so uh, come on then let's let's get dirty shall we there you go so it's literally just a piece of uh, ring there so you might um, and there's just a normal just bearing surface in there I don't know whether or not you want to add a bit of grease to it couldn't hurt on reassembly to add a bit of grease but there's certainly some grease in there fat could use the opportunity to scoop a little bit of this spare grease and just put it there. And that's that. Maybe it's better to keep it dry. Surely they wouldn't have spared any money and expense on grease. Unless it wasn't needed. Right. So that's that. So we have the hammer here, which is on a big old spring. And that's a pe pretty fefty weight. I mean, that's where the, the mass of this thing is coming from. So the idea being, basically, this thing spins up and ah, ooh, and then it just basically slams into the end of that. And you can see it's got a 
there's the motor and then there's this outer ring and that outer ring is because it's got a little orbital gearbox on a big bearing so that's cute too isn't it there's your bearing again it's not going to just plop apart is it um, and there are your three planetary gears that run around the edge so very interesting so I'm not sure what sort of ratio it is so you, what happens is there's a, a center gear there and I'm going to be a bit careful because I'm covered in grease you'll see if you looked down there and you could see it you'd see the outer edge of these three planetary gears and that motor shaft spins in there and spins around and then it moves these so if you think about it, these move slower so it's a reduction gearbox so that means that the, in, in the inside one say could run at a thousand rpm and then this whole unit will run at 300 rpm because it's getting a reduction from that but it's getting a lot more torque so then this bit will hit will basically slam into your uh, half inch drive i'm guessing that's acting as a kind of cushion spring or i'm not gonna be able to test this <laughs> or um this will not engage and it will be pushed back against the spring and then spin around and then once it's got enough speed up it'll engage but I can't really quite tell at the moment. Let's put this in here. We'll wipe ourselves down later. So that goes in like that. So you can see yeah, it's it's pretty much engaged, but you've got a, uh, what do you say, about 45 degrees? Maybe even, no, 90 degrees of play in that. So every time it hit, has a smack, bang, it's, it's allowed 90 degrees of movement to, 90 degrees swing of the hammer can hear that right there so yeah it's cool plenty of grease it's got everywhere all over these bearings and things so all that remains is for me to go and undo me car but if I don't get on with this or it breaks down there'll be a little addendum on this video but at the moment I'm happy enough go do the dirty jobs oh by the way the grease doesn't smell too bad not too fishy at all thanks for watching Okay, I just used it to undo a really tight uh, torqued bolt on a, a wheel bolt on a uh, Range Rover and it just wanged that out with no problem. So I guess so far thumbs up.